In this video, we are going to cover the most important part of TSQL that is transaction. As the T of SQL stands for transact itself. So now here, we are actually going to learn how to deal with the transactions. So basically, any set of statements which performs a unit task is called a transaction. Means a unit task means we will consider the complete set of statements as a single unit. So that if the execution is taking place, I want to ensure the complete changes should be there, not half will be accepted. So uh, is a set of TSQL statements which are executed together as a unit. Suppose if the execution is successful and now I want to save the changes permanently. So for that, I can go for the commit statement. Make sure that whenever you will work with any DML statement will require the commit or rollback such statements. The DDL statements are auto committed. You don't need to pass the commit or rollback for them. So uh, whenever I want to save the changes, I want I'm ensured like all these statements I have executed successfully and I want to save the changes. So for that, I can go for the commit statement. If I want to undo the changes, suppose if there is any exception occurred, so try block will raise the exception and that will be handled by the commit. So in that particular situation, let's say I want to roll back the transaction. So, I, so to undo the changes, I can use this rollback command to make the rollback, to make the undo. Suppose your transaction has some, has some several parts. All right, so you can actually make it logically implemented by using the save point as if there is a long transaction, you can use save point to split them into small pieces. Why? Because if you want to roll back, suppose there are two save points, save point one and save point two. When you say the roll back, I just want to roll back to this particular point, not completely. So I can use this save point in split the complete transaction in smaller parts for rollback, for rollback only. So as I said, whenever you will rollback, you can specify a particular save point name so that only up to that particular point, the rollback will be done. Before that particular is still not saved, neither rejected, all right? So you have to say a rollback or commit if you want to do something with the statements which are written before this particular save point. At a particular time, whenever you want to get the number of transactions, you can use this at the rate tran count. This double at the rate means a global variable which is provided by default by the SQL servers and anytime while implementing a transaction, you can see how many transactions are currently going on. For example, if there is a transaction inside a transaction, means nesting is there. So when there is first transaction, the tran count will give you one. As soon as you will start another transaction inside it, the nesting thing, it will start giving you two and so on. So whenever you will start a transaction, it will be incremented by one. If you roll back the things, means that particular transaction is rolled back. So this tran count will be decreased by one and the same case will be happening whenever you will commit it because you when you say commit that means the transaction is over so this tran count will also be decreased when you will say a commit so let's see practically how can we start working with these transactions and how can these keywords helps us in doing so now to order to begin a transaction what i have to write is a begin transaction and which will actually allow you to begin a particular transaction which may consist a number of SQL statement inside it. So like here, if I do inside this begin transaction, if I'll do something like delete from TBL employees where EMP ID is equal to 108. All right, so what I did here, I'm just deleting a particular record inside a begin transaction and I'm not going to any, do anything like commit or rollback. So let's see what will happen. 
okay let me do one more thing like here right after this I'll make a query so that I can check like whether that particular record got deleted or not so let me terminate that with a semicolon this optional but though alright so here you can see uh, one record got deleted alright after 107 it's directly 109 and the record which I deleted is 108 so uh, is it really deleted or there is something else basically right now the transaction in is a middle way right it's neither committed nor rolled back so what I'll do here if I'll come to another terminal as I'm working with a couple of terminals at a time uh, this is a management studio and here it's another so what I do is if I'll take to a select statement from the some different terminal from where the command is not actually being fired which command this delete command this transaction is not being initialized from this terminal this is some another user accessing the same database at the same time by what time means the transaction is still in process so if I'll do the execute uh, if I'll execute this statement you can see this is getting executed all right it's, it's still executing and I'm unable to get the data even after 12 13 seconds of this execution so either I'll have to commit or roll back this particular thing so that uh, this transaction could be over and uh, the another user can access the record from this table so what I can do is I can simply say a roll back and as soon as I will say roll back this command will be completed and here now in the second terminal now I can see the record and you can see the 108 record is still there and even if I'll do the searching from here I'll get 108 but in that particular place if I'll do the commit thing obviously it will be saved so let's do it again again I'm beginning this transaction alright and now what I'll do I'll say commit so again let me execute this again it is in progress and now if I'll say commit you can't find the 108 so actually this is the logic here means when I will say a commit it will save the changes and after that you will not be able to roll back the committed transactions so either you have to do go for commit to save the changes which can't be rolled back either you can roll back which can't be committed after that so uh, these are something which is related now let's do one more thing like again I'll begin a transaction here and uh, what I'll do is I'll just after this delete statement I will print something here which is nothing but the at the rate tran count alright that's the global variable and let me remove this one this is statement from here alright it will not be a problem but still I'm just doing that uh, again now let's delete some other record and you see this cran count is one because so far only one transaction is getting executed alright so when I print it it will show you one now as soon as I will roll it back that means the transaction is over and now it will not show any transaction now it is set to zero so that means if you will commit or roll back that transaction will be over and after that the tran count will be decreased by one now let's also cover the save point concept right here as what I'll have to do is if I want to do some uh, big number of transactions inside a same transaction and I want to do some partitioning in that so I can go for the save point so for that what I'll have to write is save transaction s1 like s1 is the save point now what I'll do is I'll say delete from tbl employees where emp id is equal to 107 alright similarly uh, after this whatever or any number of statements which you will write will all come under this s1 save point s1 so after this I will create another save point like save transaction 
S2 and again I'll delete something inside that. All right, let me remove 109 since it is already removed. All right, so now l when I will execute this, it will say one row affected, one row affected. All right, both are in inconsistent state right now. So that's why when I will query, nothing is happening. So uh, what I can do now is if I'll say rollback transaction, then give any rollback name, I mean save point name. If you will just write rollback transaction, there will be no difference like you either you execute rollback or rollback transaction, it will roll back all the changes. So when I will say uh, rollback transaction S2, so it will only undo till the S2 means this deletion has been uh, rolled back but 107 is still in the inconsistent state. So after rolling back to S2, if I will say commit, that means 109 is now uh, settled to the safe mode, means this record is not being deleted since I rolled back till that particular point. But now if I will say commit, make sure that whenever you commit, it will be a complete commit. You can't commit to a particular save point. Only rollback can be done for till a particular save point. Now, if I'll say commit, so that means 107 is deleted, but 109 is still there. As in this particular terminal, you can see 107 is gone, but 109 is still there. So this is how you can use the commit rollback and save point transact in the transaction in SQL Server and you can also use the double add tran count in order to count the number of transaction running.